So now that we know if an electric field is given, I can find my voltage to be negative infinity to R E dot DL. So given an electric field, I can find a voltage. The other way around is also important for me. That means given a voltage, given a voltage, which is a scalar, how do I find my electric field? So based on this relationship, you can work backwards. You can invert that. The integral becomes a differential operator. This integral will become a differential operator. And what differential operator in this case is the change in potential in a certain direction, which is the electric field becomes the negative gradient of V. So gradient of V. What is gradient of V? That it's dV over dx in the x hat direction plus dV over dy in the y hat direction plus dV over dz in the z hat direction. The whole thing with a negative in the front. The electric field is the negative gradient of potential. This should not be very surprising to you because the negative gradient of potential energy is the force. The gravitational force field is going to be the negative gradient of potential energy. It's the exact same thing here. Instead of gravitational force, you're having electric field, electric force is the negative gradient of electric potential. So now given an electric field, you can find the voltage. Given, given a voltage, you can find an electric field. 